Oh yeah, you all right? I'm going to make a chilli because someone asked us to show them how to make one and I was making one anyway, so I thought I'll do a little video. I make it all the time. Um, so, chop, finely chop an onion there. I've used my little mini blender, one of these. This is three sticks of celery. Don't have to put celery in. I like to bulk it out with vegetables, makes your mince go further. Now that's the top of it. You need a big pan. Add your celery to your onion. You want about a tablespoon of oil, not very much. About half a teaspoon of salt. If you put a bit of salt in, the salt lets the vegetables let the water out so they don't dry up and you need less oil. Put the heat on. Now you could, if your air fryer has got a saute setting, you can do this in the air fryer. So you would um, fry your onion and your mince and that off and your spices. You would do it just the same as this, only when I put the lid on this, you would put the pressure lid on and pressure cook it for about an hour. I'm doing it in the pan. It'll take about an hour and a half, two hours. Just blipping away. So fry that off for five to ten minutes. Grate in three cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of cumin, heap teaspoons, three teaspoons of paprika. I've already put one in, so that's three. Two teaspoons of oregano. Now it is worth buying these spices because these ones the ones you'll use all the time. Right, stir that all in. You just need to cook those spices off for a minute or two. Now choose your own heat. I'm going to chop one chilli, green or red, it doesn't matter. If you don't have a fresh chilli, you can put a teaspoon of chilli flakes in or a teaspoon of chilli powder. Chilli flakes can be quite hot, so if you want this hot, put two teaspoons in. In the chilli goes. And two tablespoons of tomato puree. Stir it through. Now what you've got here is like a spice paste. You've made a paste. Let's break it up. There, let it brown up. You want some good colour on there. Right, don't go piss farting about with tiny pans. You need a good pan. Make this, you've got the gas on. You've got to have the gas on for an hour and a half. Make it worth your while. So use a big pan. We want 10 portions. If we're going to have the gas on for an hour and a half, you want 10 portions. Never mind two or four. This is good for freezing, keeps in the fridge for a good three days at least. So, you want a big pan, you want to make a, a good amount. And we're going to bulk that mince out. I always like to add vegetables to it. So, when we're ready to put them in, I'm going to put in two grated carrots, about 100 grams of finely chopped mushrooms. You can put some chopped peppers in there. I'll put a couple of tins of tomatoes. So, you can see there's plenty of veg in there. This is good for you. And it's tasty. It's so tasty. You won't mind having this for a couple of days. I'm getting asked a lot about my air fryer. Yes, I like it, but no, it's not good for everything. So it's good for anything that you would have put in a deep fat fryer or you would have put in the oven, like chips, battered fish, chicken nuggets, waffles, all that kind of thing. Out you can buy in Iceland. Fabulous in your air fryer. It'll come out crisp, lovely, and it'll take half the time. But it's not going to replace your cooker. You are still going to need your cooker for some things. One thing i done, I bought a ready-made apple pie from the supermarket. And I heated that up in the air fryer. Now that was good. It only took 5-10 minutes. I didn't have to put the oven on. The microwave doesn't make your pastry crisp. Fabulous in the air fryer. So although 
it's been a good purchase and I definitely will use it. It'll, it'll make my life easier, especially midweek meals. But don't be expecting many recipes because like this, if I was to do the chilli in the air fryer, I'm still going to need a gas for the rice. I'm going to have to saute and then, then pressure cook. It, it is a bit of a faff until I get my head around it properly. It's not good for everything. So I'll, I will do more and more with it. But as for actual recipes that are, recipes that require stage and waffle and recipes that require stages are not so good in the air fryer. Stews, one pot, fabulous. So I'll, I will think of some things and get them on. This mince is a good colour now. It smells amazing. Going with two grated carrots. And I've got about 100 grams of finely chopped mushrooms. Let's make this mince go a bit further. And get our fire a day while we're at it. Your kids won't know there's veg in this. Put in a beef stock pot. Two tins of plum tomatoes. Oh, I've just spilt that all over the cooker. Break them up with a fork. Swill each tin out with half a tin of water. Bring it to the boil. Turn the heat down. Put a lid on. Leave it for an hour. I'll tell you what I forgot. You need to put a cinnamon stick in. So. Just bought these, I didn't have any left. Oh, I can't get it out. I mean, Tesco, this is a ridiculous way to package cinnamon. How am I meant to get that out of there? You've got it in, but I can't get it out without disintegrating it. And I want to stick, not shards. Yeah, it's not just Tesco's that package this like this. Like they all come in jars like this. There. Shouldn't be that hard though, should it? You only want about half of one of these because if you put too much in, your dinner will end up tasting like perfume. Just snap it in half and pop it in the pan. You're not going to eat that, you're going to pick it out. I'm going to put, that wasn't quite half, so I'll put another bit in. There. If you don't fancy it, leave it out, but it does make it taste nice. There. So just in from the gym, ready for my tea. So I'm just going to put some rice on. Rinse your rice a couple of times, cover it with cold water, bring to the boil. I'm going to try a few nachos. I've just got a packet of wraps. These are small ones. Cut them into triangles. Now you can spray them with oil and put them in the oven. Or I'm going to try them in the air fryer. Pop them in. A couple of sprays. It's running out. Right, so I've got it on 200. Set the time. I'll try five minutes. It's just on air crisp. Start. This chilli's ready now. Now you need to put your kidney beans in. If you think it's too thick, put some more water in. And we go with the kidney beans. You can pop in one or two tins. Just give them a rinse. Right, let's see how these are doing. I mean, they look all right. I'll just let them cool a minute because sometimes they crisp up as they cool. Right, these nachos have cooled enough so I can touch them. Yeah. You can do them in the air fryer. I mean, the best way to do them is to deep fry them. It will dish up. Drain your rice when it's done. This smells amazing. Make sure you pick the cinnamon sticks out.
we need a dollop of sour cream just a little bit of salsa on these nachos make it look fancy with a little dusting of paprika just a little bit Right, I'm going to be quick to try this because I want to get a shower. Ian wants his tea. This is brilliant. The next day, it's even better. It's better reheated. It, it, it's lovely. Let's just get a fork. Have a taste of this. <clears throat> oh, that's tasty. That is, that's delicious. And these for just being a little afterthought. Bang on. Lovely. Crunchy. Right, give this a go. I promise you this is something that you'll keep making again and again and again. This will be your firm favourite staple tea. You can make loads of it. It keeps really well. Everybody likes it. You can have it with rice, chips, baked potatoes, nachos, wedges. Possibilities are endless. You can even make a lasagna with it, but instead of using pasta, use tortilla wraps. Put it in a cake tin. That's nice. Make this. You'll be pleased you did. And it's good for you. It's packed full of veg. Kids don't know. Use the, I've used 5% fat mince, you do you, put veg in it that you like, it's your tea, not mine. Have a great evening, give this a go, don't forget to like and share and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Ian, here's your tea!